Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to share a new tool that I created with which I can analyze the stock market. This is a crude but very useful tool that I created with Google Sheets query function. I will first demonstrate what the tool looks, does and then get into details about how you can create your own tool. As you can see in the screen, this is what the tool looks like just looks like a basic report right but wait there's more so let me start with what my aim was what was my aim my aim was to create a tool that can analyze the historic stock market data and key in on dates on which major ups and downs occurred in the stock market and as a secondary aim I wanted to also know why that um, gain or loss happened on that particular day so my idea was to create a very basic tool but it ended up having much more flexibility than i initially thought let me show you the report that you see here lists the date on which the top 10 stock market losses happened for the year of 2008 the first field date is pretty self-explanatory the second field is called difference with previous close date that shows the total number of points gained or lost during that particular day percentage difference obviously shows the percentage gain or loss the fourth field um, that's my favorite field which shows why this happened so it's in a clickable format so if I click here I'll be able to go to the Google page and I can open up the search results and see what exactly happened on that day so you can see the CNN in this case the first result was CNN money and it gives a detailed report about what happened on that particular day going back So that's the first part where we can see all the results. Now, how do we control the results? We use it. We use the control parameters to do that. You can see the control parameters currently have the following inputs. I want to see all data for 2008, and I want to see losses only, and I have to. I just want the first 10 rows now. I can change this I can change this to 20 rows and the results automatically changes and the Google search is also uh, automatically populates for those rows I can change the loss to gain and it will show me the gains for uh, which happened for the year of 2008 right now I have given 2008 but I can give any dates as you can see let me go back to another date which some of you might be aware of and I'm going to give loss here 22.61 percentage loss in a single day that's the biggest loss that happened for stock market in, in the recent history so what happened that was called black monday and there's a whole wikipedia page on that i'm not going to details about that you can read it up but i want to come back to this report here and show you the flexibility of this tool so we can play around with this date field here they have given a guide here so there's much more than dates that we can give to this field we can give month so how do you give month I just give hyphen let's say I want to see the data for all December's regardless of the year this is how you do that so you can see all the data is for December and the year and day varies here you can see gains for those 
all of those as well. So I have to say gain or loss, not gains. Gains won't work. So let's see some more examples here. Um, we already saw the example where we bring up the month. Now let's go to the next one, which is um, displaying the month and day. So for that, I give hyphen. Let's say I want to see all um, all the data for the month of December and day 11 regardless of the year so this as you can see in this data the data shows for 12 11 all the dates and maybe I can increase this data a little bit to show some more um, and change this a little bit to show the losses but that's the basic idea just if you want to see um, a particular day particular month what happened um, this is how you check that so next one in this example is year and month and any day so for year and month we give something like this 2008 12 and then another hyphen so that will give you all data for December month for 2008 regardless of the day so basically it gives data for all uh, December if you give 31 obviously all 31 will not have um, data because some of the days the stock market will be closed so um, it gives as much data as it can going on to the next example this is an interesting one year starting with yy and month so suppose i want to see all the data between 2000 and anything greater than 2000 let's say so i give 220 and then two times i will give underscore and then the month and then another hyphen like this so we are seeing all the data from 2008 2007 2015 all this data and you can see for the month of december 2008 topped the losses let's see the gains for gains 2008 again topped it was on 16th that gain of happened now if i want to switch it a little bit um, i can also give say instead of giving two underscores i can say 2000 Two zero one underscore hyphen twelve hyphen that will give you anything greater than 2010 2010 or above that's the data seen here loss will give you losses 2015 ranked high in there um, that's how you can um, do that so I just uh, make, made a slight segue to add that additional um, tip there. Going on to the next one, if you want to see if really 13th is a unlucky day for stock market, let's do like this. Hyphen underscore underscore hyphen 13. And let's see how many losses were there most losses was minus 691 6.91 percentage loss let's see gains 11 so i don't think 10 13 is any way unlucky so let's um i know some of this analysis doesn't make any sense to most people who's mostly interested in um you know making a gain out of uh, stock trading but 
I'm doing this more from a curiosity point of view and uh, there are some people who are curious to know uh, some of this data so this will help them um, now if I want year anything greater than 2000 regardless of anything any other month or day losses 2008 again comes on top that's uh, for the first three results 2008 is on the top now as I said we can do this and see anything greater than 2010 and 2011 was the greatest with minus 5.5 percentage curious to see what happened on that day um, yeah that's black monday this is the key page on that because there was minus 5.5 percentage lost 634 points on a single day wow okay um going on to the next one we already covered this one now if you want an exact date let's say i don't know uh, some of the days i don't know whether the market was open on those days but let's say 2017 11 22 there it is so we can give the exact date and even if it is gain or loss it should so show the results because even if i say gain or loss um uh, it it will it will sort based on the highest loss. If I if I say gain, it will sort based on the highest gain, and then work its way down. So that's why you'll not be able to uh, see uh, the losses for that month. It's, uh, that would be more. Um, let me take another example here. Two thousand seventeen eleven, and I'm saying gains these are the gains but as you see the top ones show the most gains but and decreases down the line but at some point it shows negative which just says that it made that much less of a gain doesn't make uh, mean that um, there is a bug in this report it just shows um, you know the order of gain or loss for that month in that year so these are some of the examples hope uh, you guys um, are interested in this one um, and want to know more about how to create your own sheets like this I'll just mm, share some of my uh, formula so you can pause the video and copy this and that's one of the formulas and this is the other formula these are the only two formulas which I used so I have hidden actually the other sheet which has data in it uh, I used Yahoo Finance to get these data for Dow Jones industrial average I got data only from 1985 um, I don't know they don't uh, usually keep data um, before that I guess um, I will have to search more to see whether there are more reliable sources to get if the if you know about some sources like that please leave a comment and uh, I will try to further enhance this data if you want any assistance with uh, how to create this sheet leave a comment and I'll be able to help you with that all right hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving today is Thanksgiving day it's past Thanksgiving, it's past 12 o'clock. Um, but, anyways, happy Black Friday and Cyber Monday. <laughs> Alright, take care, bye.